Well, hello, hello, hello. And this is the Spearmint Rhino Gentlemen's Club in Las Vegas. This is Vegas Police C. This particular establishment is one of the most popular gentlemen's clubs in Las Vegas. And perhaps you're wondering how much money this takes in in a year. The revenue for the Spearmint Rhino every year is $44 million, roughly $900,000 a week. The girls also take home a lot of money, I'm sure. There's a lot of videos on TikTok about that. But the establishment itself grosses $44 million a year, Vegas Pauly C. Well, hello, hello, hello. It's Vegas Pauly C. And here is an update on the U2 show at the Sphere, which is right in front of me here in Las Vegas. Tickets have gone on sale. They are in the resale market right now for between $200 for the cheap seats to as much as $6,000 for the seats in the first couple of rows. They're opening on September 29th at the Sphere Las Vegas, Vegas Poly C. Well, hello, 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 it's Vegas Poly C, and this is Planet 13, one of the biggest, most beautiful dispensaries in Las Vegas. But what a lot of people don't know is this is a publicly held company. You can actually buy stock in Planet 13. It's trading for 74 cents a share if you want to check it out. The market cap of this particular establishment is $159 million. So I guess the marijuana kiss over here is valued at $159 million by the stock market. It's Planet 13, Vegas Pauly C. Well, hello, 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 it's Vegas Pauly C. And this is the Veer Towers, Las Vegas. One tower, the one in front goes five degrees to the right. And the tower in the back goes five degrees to the left which gives us 10 degrees on the eye and creates that tilt in both of them, even though they're each only five degrees one way or the other. It's the Veer Las Vegas. It's in city center next to the Aria, Vegas Poly C. Well, hello, 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 it's Vegas Poly C. And this is the paddock for the F1 race. It's gonna be on November 18th at 10 p.m. It's going to start and finish over here on Colval and Harmon. It's a 3.8 mile race around the Las Vegas Strip, Vegas Pauly C. Well, hello, 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 it's Vegas Pauly C. And this is the Cosmopolitan, which was recently sold for $4 billion to MGM Grand. You all know that. But originally it was developed by a gentleman by the name of Ian Bruce Eichner from Miami. He borrowed a billion dollars from Deutsche Bank and defaulted on the loan and Deutsche Bank had a choice to make. Do they finish the property or do they walk away from the billion dollars? I will never understand why they did this and I remember at the time when they did it, but they decided to finish the project. So instead of losing $1 billion, they finished the project for $4 billion, sold it for $1.7 billion and lost $2 billion. If you're following that, I hope you are. But this is the story of how a German bank lost $2 billion on the Cosmopolitan before it even was sold to MGM Grand, Vegas Poly C. Well, hello, 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 it's Vegas Poly C, and this is the beautiful Palazzo right here, the Palazzo Venetian. I'm going to do a 10 minute real time walkthrough through the Venetian Palazzo, hitting some of the hot spots that I know of. I do not use editing for the most part, so this will be a real time walkthrough. This is one of my top three properties in Las Vegas, and hopefully you'll enjoy this. I did it at the Wynn and it came out uh, very good. Let's do it over here at the Venetian Palazzo. This entry right here is from the Palazzo side. And you come down this area right through here. On the right, they sell sliders at night. And they're pretty good, hamburger sliders. They're basically like gourmet White Castles. Uh, and we're coming now into the casino. This is the Palazzo section of the casino. And the corner that I came in from was Sands and the Strip. I love the Palazzo Casino for several reasons. Number one, it gets less traffic than the Venetian side uh, but also I feel like the games over here are more up-to-date more varied and more up-to-date and I like that so the two sections are connected the Venetian and the Palazzo I really love this property this is the place to stay especially if the weather is inclement and I'm gonna tell you why there's so many things to do here on the inside this is the check-in for the Palazzo there's so many things to do on the inside and you can walk back and forth between the Venetian and Palazzo all day long. And you never get bored. And then if you did get bored of walking back and forth, which I do all the time, 
you can go upstairs to the canal shops, which is just incredible. It's one of the best malls in the country. In my opinion, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to take you over here to the love sign. And what you do over here is you take your significant other, whoever that lucky person is, you take them over here and you do a picture in front of the love sign. It's very cute. It builds memories for a lifetime and it costs nothing. Look at this property. Sheldon Adelson, shout out to you wherever you are, Sheldon. Unbelievable. Look at this. I'm going to show you the love sign and the waterfall. And as you can see, these two escalators right here go up to the canal shops, which is a whole nother wonderful, beautiful, incredible place. Hopefully in the 10 minutes, I have enough time to get up there. Here's the love sign and the waterfall. This is where you come in. Everybody comes over here and stands in front of this particular love sign and takes a picture of their sig of or you and your sig of together. Of course, you could play it either way. But it's love. Everybody loves love, right? Okay, so I'm at the Palazzo and I'm walking over to the Venetian side. This particular cafe over here is excellent. They have excellent coffee and pastries. There are something like 39 restaurants in this particular establishment. It might be 59. I should know that number, but I'm not going to BS you. I did not look it up before I did this video. A lot of the things that I do uh, come right off the top of my head. But if you know whether it's 39 or 59, maybe put it in the chat. There are so many gourmet restaurants in here that you could eat for two weeks and never repeat them. Over here to the left is the Sands Convention Center. Now, when they have a convention here, I have to warn you, it gets mobbed. So I would avoid conventions over here if you can. It's also way more difficult to get a room. I'm walking over now to the Venetian Casino and we'll see the grand entryway. And then we'll go upstairs uh, to the canal shops. So we'll take a quick look at that. People also take pictures right here in front of this beautiful floral arrangement. I see many couples standing there. So you can almost do a daily double. You can take a picture in front of the love sign uh, and then come over there and take a picture in front of that floral arrangement right there. And you're building memories for a lifetime. I had a lox pizza over here once. It was very good. It was a smoked salmon pizza. Absolutely delicious. There is a Latin restaurant over here that has very unique flavors on the right. I would recommend that I've eaten there several times. It has sort of a South American feel to it. So when you get your breakfast, it's South American style, really. Uh, they don't have the menu up, but the name of it is Chica. I've eaten here several times and it's very good. I'm not a food review guy, but I know when I like something. Okay, this is the Venetian Casino. The sports book is over here to the right. The sports book is excellent. Is it the best sports book in Las Vegas? No, it's not, but it's very functional. I've spent many a day in there watching the ponies run around the track. And we're gonna come over to the Venetian section and the grand entry, which I think is just amazing. It was built in like 2001 by Sheldon Adelson. And this property struggled initially because there was an economic downturn then. But of course it rebounded and it sold for $6.25 billion several years ago when the Sands Corporation decided that they wanted to get rid of it. Why they wanted to get rid of it, I have no idea but they did. What I read in the trades was, was that Sheldon was upset about regulations or something like that. Uh, but you can Google that and you can see, I'm not making that up. He did say that many times and that's part of the reason why he got rid of the property. But let's look at his spectacular legacy over here on the Vegas Police C show, 10 minute walkthrough of the Venetian Palazzo. And I wanna do this at a bunch of the really great properties. I did it at the Wynn Encore and I explained why that is in my top three. This particular establishment is definitely in my top three. And I am a player over here and they treat me well. The comps here are excellent. And if you have some money, but not too much money, this is a place to play. I feel that the win encore is a little bit out of my range. Look at this hallway right here. Isn't this glorious? I'm gonna walk outside in front of the property to show you the front. The front is just spectacular. And then hopefully you have time to get up to the canal shops. This is the main entryway, the main lobby for the Venetian section of the hotel. You have to look at it like two islands connected by this walkway I just walked through. The Venetian is on the right and the Palazzo is on the left. And this particular property has 7,000 rooms, which makes it the second largest hotel in the world. The first one being Genting Highlands in Malaysia, 
which I think has 7,300 rooms. This is the porte cochere. I always say that word wrong, uh, but that's how I know how to say it. And as you can see, I'm coming around now to the outside. And this area in the front, when you look up, you see basically all of Venice. There's so much to do here. If you're coming for three or four days to Vegas, you honestly never have to leave this property. I'm not kidding. You could spend every dollar you have in here. There is a beautiful garden uh, on the 10th floor of the Venezia Tower. We're not gonna get to that right now. I'll do a separate video of that. And that's where Bouchon Restaurant is. And I had many a glorious romantic meal there with little Mahi, she's so cute. Uh, but let's go around to the front there. There is, I think that's called the Doge's Palace or something like that. I should know that, but I'm not gonna lie to you. But I think it's D-O-G-E. Uh, here's the front. And of course they have the rides in the gondola over here uh, and inside. So I guess if it's hot out, you go inside. There's two separate gondola areas. There's outside here where you're exposed to the elements, but they also had uh, the incredible foresight to put the gondola rides on the inside, the second floor where the canal shops are. So they have an inside gondola ride. How they retain that much water, I have no idea. That must be some engineering marvel to retain enough water to be in canals on the second floor of a hotel. Can you imagine? Here's an outside view. And I'm gonna rush upstairs to see if I can get inside of the canal shops really quick. I don't think so, because I see I'm at eight minutes right now. Uh, so I will probably have to do another video of the canal shops, maybe a 10 minute walkthrough of the canal shops. Uh, but we'll certainly give it a go. I'm a fast walker here on the Vegas Police Station. Yes, I'm gonna have a minute to get up there. This again is a separate entryway into the Venetian Casino. And these two escalators on my left and my right go up to the canal shops. There's probably 10, 12, 14 different ways to get up to the canal shops. And here we go. Look at this ceiling. I mean, where are you gonna see something like this? Other than Italy, you know what I mean? Look at that. I mean, that is just spectacular. My goodness, I love Las Vegas. Wow. And this is town nightclub over here where all the young people go. Uh, you'll often see a line out here to get into town. And this is the Grand Canal shops right here. I'll have to do a separate video of this because 10 minutes in Vegas goes by in a heartbeat, doesn't it? Vegas police.